Hello at Bags, this is Jay Plays Games. Welcome to an Ark Survival Evolved Extinction Breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at what's going on with Titans. The trailer was released recently. We've all seen the hype, maybe disappointed a little bit by the actual release date, which isn't coming until the 6th November. However, there's loads of good stuff on show in this trailer. One of the key features from this brand new map is going to be this Titan mechanic, this massive monster. That's right, maybe taking some influence from Monster Hunter World and some of them other games, it does look like we're going to be getting lots of impact play like that. Now it might actually be a bit unfair to compare it to Monster Hunter World because this idea of these titans has been in the game for a long time. In fact it was something they were going to implement in the main game much much earlier on. I've mentioned this a few times but I'm going to reiterate it for the people that don't know. It was called Boss Wars and the mechanic was this, that during the course of a server there would be sporadic drops of bosses. These mini bosses, maybe smaller versions of the main bosses, would drop on the servers and people would be able to go and take them on. Whoever managed to get the killing blow on these monsters, these creatures, these mini bosses, would then have complete control over these guys and you would be able to use them for a limited time. It was on the patch notes for months and months and months, but it got removed obviously at release and was pushed back. Now, Boss Wars was actually explained by Jeremy Stieglitz, the lead creator of Ark Survival Evolved, when he'd done an interview with PC Gamer, explaining why they were going to be wiping servers, or not wiping servers, before launch. If you don't remember that, it was a big, huge debate, and it was a big, huge interview he gave about why they were going to be setting up legacy servers. But at the very bottom of that interview, it comes across this, and he's talking about ideas that he wanted to implement. And that was the last we heard officially about Boss Wars. As you can see, the Boss Wars does really detail exactly how it would work. He says the bosses would turn up at 12 o'clock, and players would be able to go and fight over them. So that idea is not really new. It looks like it's just been fleshed out, particularly for these Titans in the brand new Extinction DLC. So this looks like they've reiterated on it, they've sharpened it up, and this is what effectively is boss wars. We're going to have these giant titans on the map. Now they're not actually going to be running around. This isn't Monster Hunter World. These are going to be summoned almost. You're going to be going through dungeons, you're going to be completing certain things, and then they will basically appear almost like an arena style. You can see from the trailer there seems to be some sort of background dome around it very very similar to maybe how the dome appears when you've got a tech shield up or when you've got uh, summoning and you're going to fight one of the main bosses so it does look like instead of you being transported to a boss arena the bosses are going to basically turn up where you are so that's going to be pretty interesting now we're not that 100% confirmed it may still be the case you're transported but from what I'm looking at there and all the information we gained from the PC game interview and some of the other things they've been saying it does look like the Titans will be roaming around these areas once you've done something in a dungeon once you've done something in a cave or completed a certain objective it makes it more interesting definitely than just going off to a boss arena for me I think the idea of these maybe running around is pretty cool no wording on whether or not other players will be able to just come in I do believe I think that's what that whole idea is that shield is going to be there to protect players but then again it would stop other players from maybe getting a chance to take these Titans on themselves if big tribes are going for all these guys and the idea is that once you kill this Titan or knock it down you will be able to tame it so it is the same as the boss wars now this is what I've been led to believe looking at the forums and the idea that you will knock it out rather than just kill it is a good indication that you'll be able to use these guys in some way shape or form now they look really massive this Titan here this Zool as we're calling it I oh, that's what I thought it was it was like the creature from Ghostbusters a little bit it is really big but when you compare it to maybe the size of a titan a normal titan it's probably not as big as people think i think the trailers ramped it up quite a bit to show how big it is and obviously we have had a big creatures as well rockwell is quite big and it's almost got the same mechanic of raising its arms and its hands rockwell was the boss character in aberration the last dlc so that's the way titans are going to work you're going to be able to not summon it or you will summon it or it will be an area that it patrols that you can only gain access to by completing a certain objective in a dungeon or a cave. Now another thing to note is you're not necessarily going to be killing these creatures just by doing damage. It has said that there will be other ways you need to take down these titans and to truly ascend, to truly take on the last boss or find out what's going on with the full story of Ark Survival Evolved, you're going to need to take on every single titan in the game. 
So this isn't even just one Titan, there is going to be many of these creatures running around. In a way, it seems a little bit like the traditional bosses that we're used to seeing or fighting. You know, when you go and summon or you go transport to the dragon or the Megapithecus or the Broodmother, they are in effect Titans. So this is just another cool example of it. Maybe we'll come across Mutated Dragon, maybe we'll come across a Corrupted Broodmother. It'd be really cool to see variations of them, but real differences. I presume there's still going to be some sort of little minions running around. The trailer doesn't give away too much, and like I said, it is CGI, that aspect of it, as far as I can tell. If it's not CGI, I would love to see more gameplay, because I really think it was a bit short. However, it does look pretty cool. It will be really interesting to see if we can tame these guys and use them. The idea with it was originally for more PvE players to have more PvE content. That's what Boss Wars was, and that's why they've added these Titans, to keep players fresh while playing PvE. Apart from collecting in dinosaurs and finding explorer notes what else is there to do in pve other than take on the bosses so having these mini bosses more maybe as part of a journey or a mechanic where you have to unlock them is going to be more interesting for pve players to do rather than simply just going around caves collecting artifacts now we don't know that for definite it's not going to be any different no. they, they've said there's dungeons that you need to complete so that could still be a case of going around collecting them but it does seem it's going to be different the devs have said this is going to be like no DLC they've ever done and it's going to contain many many mechanics we've never seen in Ark Survival Evolved so I'm really pleased they're doing this what else it's meant to do for servers, what the original boss was, was is to level the playing field. If you're a small tribe and there's always an alpha tribe and maybe you can't find the, you know, the way to get up to a level where you can go and do the boss fights because you're always getting knocked out by bigger tribes. The idea was that these bosses dropping would give you that chance because all you would have to do would be you would be the final blow. So enemy tribes will come together and you'll be fighting over who could kill the boss first and whoever kills that mini boss then gets control. And then obviously small tribes could use that as an advantage and they could take on some of the bigger tribes and maybe, you know, kick ass a little bit. So I hope that mechanic is still there. I think that would be a really cool mechanic for PvP. I think that would really brighten stuff up in PvP and not just make it about the grind getting tech items and, and you know getting as much C4 as possible. If there was a way for a small tribe or small person to go ahead and maybe get lucky and get that last killing blow. So I really do hope that's the case. In the background you can see there's lots of snowy areas in this one. It's a bit cold, it's a bit cool, you know, the blue lighting behind it. It looks very much like it's set in the cold mountains. Obviously there's going to be a rich diverse you know, big selection of biomes. It's not going to just be lava, thank God. It's not going to just be this corrupted stuff. It is going to be quite diverse. So, that's what these titans are. They're not going to be just simply done by taking damage to them. We're going to have to come up with creative ways to do it. It may be a case of using certain items. So maybe a bit like some of the creatures in the game, like a rock golem, you have to use rocks or fire cannonballs at them. I think that would be quite involved though, bringing them types of things into an area or having it ready for one of them to fight. So I reckon there's going to be some really unique different ways to take these titans down. And it's not just a case of hitting them with guns and attacking them with dinosaurs. There's going to be other ways we're going to have to make them knock out. So there you go, that's everything we know about the Titans so far. They're going to be in the game, they're going to be almost summonable or they will be roaming around certain areas that can only be unlocked when you've completed a dungeon. There's going to be more than one, there's going to be quite a few and you're going to have to take them down in different ways, not just simply attacking them with dinosaurs or causing damage. It is going to be really cool to see this. As soon as we get any more concrete information, I'll be the first to let you know what's happening with the Titans in Ark Survival Evolved. Make sure you've hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed, and stay tuned for even more smaller videos detailing everything you need to know about Extinction DLC. I am Jay Plays Games. I will see you, ratbags, later.